Again, good morning and welcome. The peace of Christ is a wonderful blessing to share with one another, yet this body of Christ, in this we are also called to be friends in faith. Therefore, we invite you to now uh, fill out the red friendship pad, which is located on the ends of your pews, and to pass those along to your neighbors so that you may know one another's name and become even better friends with them. And if this is your first time worshiping here with us this morning, then we extend a special welcome to you, and we invite you to fill out one of the blue and white visitor cards located uh, in the pew racks in front of you, and you can place those in the offering plates as they come around so that we may extend uh, another special welcome to you to know your name and to be friends in faith in this body of Christ. We want to extend uh, another welcome to our families that will be staying with us for the next week through the Interfaith Hospitality Network, who will be joining us here this evening. And as it's Mother's Day, we are overjoyed to welcome all mothers and those who provide motherly love in the many forms that it takes throughout our lives here this morning. I would venture a guess that it is uh, because of many of you all and those people in our lives that provide this motherly love that we're all sitting here today, so we are thankful for them. It is this love that allows us to hope in times of sadness and grief, and so it is with a heavy heart this morning that I announce the passing of one of our friends in faith, a member of this congregation. Uh, Larry Treadwell, who passed uh, this earlier this week. His service will be held here on Thursday, May 24th at 2 p.m. with a calling to follow. So we ask that you keep those, uh, his family in your prayers in the days and weeks to come as they navigate this heartbreaking loss. He was a, uh, a wonderful member of this congregation and as are uh, many, many of you all who provide your services and gifts and time to this congregation, especially our acolytes who provide many of their gifts and times to us here on Sunday mornings. And so now I would like to call Sonia Rasmussen forward to recognize those acolytes. I am going to be recognizing the sixth graders who are, I have six of them, they are acolytes, they have been faithful acolytes for the last three years and they will come up and they will stand on the steps when their names are called and they will also receive a certificate. Peyton Cummings. Maddie Kaltenmark. Valerie Kosman. Connor Morris. Gabriel Peterson. Kate Rogers. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In that same way, let your light shine before others. The six of you have brought the light of Christ to our worship service every Sunday morning, and we are grateful. We pray for God's blessing, God's desire, God's passion to light your hearts for what is next in your journey. Let's pray together. Gracious God, we thank you for the light of Christ. 
and the opportunity to gather and worship and praise you. We thank you for Peyton, Maddie, Valerie, Connor, Gabriel, and Kate. We thank you for their willingness to serve you through being an acolyte. Continue to bless and guide them as they grow in faith. We celebrate the next adventure in their lives that you will call them to. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.